continue the max class preview yes in the last class we have seen the importance of learning the multiplication isn't it the basic mathematics we have learned the addition what's it subtraction and the mathematics sorry multiplication multiplication it is actually the repeated addition yes and we have seen how do we do it and to make it easier the repeated addition to make it easier we are using the multiplication and it's very important you should know the tables multiplication tables now if properly thoroughly you have to learn it okay now let's see today some of the things some names are given here i'll give you a multiplication fact and i'll give you some uh, things here right here that is i'll write a number here to the sign you know what is it it is a simple for the it is a into sign yeah multiplication sign it is 2 into 4 is equal to what is 2 into 4 24 2 falls are yeah 8 now here you can see three two numbers the numbers when we multiply we got the answer as 8 now the first number this number okay this number we call this is a number we are we have to multiply yep yeah, this number 2 and it is multiplied by 4 the number which we have to multiply that number is called as the multiplicand we call it as the multiplicand the number which we have to multiply that's the first number okay that number is called as the multiplicand now with which number did we multiply this to yeah that number is known as the that is the four the number with which we multiply that is known as the multiplier it's called as the multiplier so this number is known as the multiplier you get it so the first one the number which we have to multiply that is called the multiplicand the second number with which we have multiplying that is known as the multiplier then after that we have got an answer the answer which we get after multiplying those two numbers it is known as the product that is called this is called the product the answer which we get after multiplying it is called as the product. Did you get these three terms? The first one, multiplicand. The second one is known as a multiplier. The, the answer which we get after multiplying is called the product. So if a question is coming, find the product. What's meaning of it? Find the answer after you multiply. Product. That is the find. That is a product. Yes. So. 2 into 4 is equal to 8 here. 2 is a multiplicand. 4 is a multiplier and 8 is the product. So in same way, if I give 12 into 6. 12 into 6. Here, which is a multiplicand? The number which we have to multiply, which is it? That is 12. So this is a multiplicand. 6 is the multiplier. And what will be the product? Product is an answer. What is the product? 12 6 are. It is 72. 72. That is the product. So this one is the multiplicand. Yes, then 6 is the multiplier. And 72 is the Product the answer which we get after multiplying the two numbers that is called the product. Okay, so till there is it clear? Yes. Preview. Again, uh, you know that the answer, the product which may we get after multiplying any number with zero. What is the product? What will you get as the answer as? It is zero. Then, whenever you multiply a number with 1, 1, 2, what is the answer you will get here? 1, 2 is a 2 or 2 into 1 is equal to 
2. Yes, that is a number whenever you multiply with 1, the product will be always the same number. Yes, the product will be always the same number. These are some of the important things you have to remember. Yes. Now let's see here, I have written here 1 into 2. The product is 2. Here 2 into 1, the product is 2. See, whenever even here, what is it written? 1 into 2 is same when you interchange these two numbers. Yes, 1 into 2 will be is 2. Same way, if I interchange the numbers, the place is changed. What is the answer? If you get, you get the same answer, the product will be 2 itself. It won't change. Now here, same way. 3 into 5. What is 3 into 5? 15. Yes. Then I interchange these two numbers. 5 into 3. What is the answer? The product is 15. So, 3 into 5 is same as 5 into 3 is equal to 5 into 3. So, if you interchange this number, the order of the number also, the product will be the same. Okay, 3 5s are 15. Same way, if I interchange those two numbers, the answer of the product is same. So, 5 3s are 15. Yes, so these are some of the important things, the properties of multiplication. Yes, so what is it? The first one, whenever we multiply a number with 0, the answer will be the product will be 0. Then, a number is multiplied with 1, the product will be the same number. And when we interchange those numbers, the product, the product will be the same. It won't change even if we interchange the numbers and write. Got it? So these are some of the features of multiplication. Yes, that's clear, no? Yes. Again, one more thing. I've written a number. Find the product. You know how to find the product. Now, I will return here a two-digit number, 22 into 30. Looking at this, sometimes you won't be able to get the product first. So, how will you find it out? Yeah, most of you know how to do it. Otherwise, you will do it once per and see. 22 is the multiplicand, 13 is the multiplier. Okay. So, we are going to find the product. So, how can you write? You will do it vertical in the vertical form. 22 into 13. Yes. The first step what you have to do is write the place place of the numbers. So this is which place? I have written O that is a ones place or we can write U on its place U. Then this two is the tens place. Ready? Yes. So first I have taken a two digit number here. Huh? So first which number with which number we have to multiply? Everywhere, whenever you are multiplying, take the ones place number. Yes, that is 3. 3 should be multiplied by 3 into 2, then 3 into this times place 2. Okay, so 3 twos are 6. Write straight down here. Same way again, 3 twos are 6 straight down here. Write here 6. Then, the next number, is it over? No. Again, we have one more number in the tenth place that is 1. So, same way, don't multiply first here. Multiply 1 into 2. 1, 2 is 2. And don't write that product here, that answer here. It should be right straight written down here. 1, 2 is 2. Then again, this 2. 1, 2 is 2. Write it here. And if you want to understand, you can just write a 0 here and keep. Understood? And then what you have to do? Is it complete fully? No. Again, we have to get the correct answer, a product here. So what you have to do is add this two. Add these two. Yes, six. Six plus two, eight. And here, two hundred. product will be 286. This is the way you have to find the product of a two-digit number in the vertical way. What is it? This is the one method, the method to find out the product if you are getting a two digit number, multiply with the two digit numbers or three digit numbers, whatever it is. So be careful while you are doing, you have to start from the ones place. Yes, then after multiplying it, when you come to the tens place, 
the when you get that answer first you multiply the tens place number the place to the ones place number and when the answer you get don't go and write it here down you should write straight down from where you have started multiplying to that numbers straight down you have to multiply yes so this is the way to find the product of a two digit numbers and all yes so that is enough so don't get confused we'll continue with this in the next class where i'll show some more uh, problems in this okay thank you children